Hello, I'm Jim Glidewell. My last Lab Perspectives Live edition stirred up some controversy, which is fine. A lively discourse helps to clear the air and move things forward. One blogger writes that chair-side milling systems are failing. But listen, there are already 11,000 systems being used in the United States today. Do you really think dentists bought these systems to advance your careers? They bought them to advance their own careers. They don't have time to worry about your career. Your career is your sole responsibility. Are these chair-side systems easy to use? Not at all. But are they getting easier? Absolutely. The new BlueCam systems from Serona are pretty darn good. They are serviceable, and that's not good for you. I hear all the time that dentists don't want to become technicians. They don't want to mill a ceramic or Emax restoration and then have to glaze and center the crowns. Still, a lot of blocks are being sold to doctors, including two million units last year alone. Products like VitaNamic and 3M's Lava Ultimate are much easier to use as they only require polishing after milling. These blocks are selling at a brisk pace and have outperformed 3M sales estimates. And many thought doctors would only accept ceramic crowns? I think not. All I'm saying is to be aware of the change to our business. Even small bridges will be coming soon. Our anteriors next? Well, 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 we'll wait and see. Now, what I'd like to address today is scanning and designing. I am a technician, not a salesman. But every once in a while, something comes along that is so obvious that I like shouting about it. I own over 90 scanners. They have become an essential part of succeeding in the new digital marketplace. With so many labs wondering how to make this transition to CAD CAM production or to improve their existing capabilities, I've decided to create a scanner and design software that work like we as technicians do. So what I'm going to show you is a system that would design almost exclusively from a technician's input. The result is CloudPoint, a one-stop solution for the scanning, design, and manufacture of monolithic restorations. When I first viewed what our team had built, I was impressed. It was a nice looking unit with a rotating gizmo that seemed to very easily mount a case on. But I guess I just like scanners because I've never seen a bad one. They all look good to me. So what is the difference between good and great? When you choose a scanner, you buy it not for what it looks like, you buy it for what it can do. We have designed a scanner that will give you a complete SDL file faster than any other scanner on the market. Sub three minutes for a single crown. Imagine not having to wait seven to 10 minutes for a complete scan. For labs that have yet to go digital, this is the most efficient and profitable way to do it. For those who are already entered the digital marketplace, this is a surefire way to streamline your production process and make more units in less time. Sean here is going to put this scanner through its paces. So hit it, Sean. You got it. While Sean does this, I will tell you why this scanner is the one you will want. Now that's a bold claim, but watch closely while the stopwatch in the corner times the scan. While this is very easy to see, it is also easy to demonstrate how unbelievably fast the CAD software will give you a completed crown design and deliver the matching CAM file to your milling machine or outsourced partner. The time it takes from beginning the scan to sending the completed design for milling is about seven minutes on average. Some of our design professionals have this process down to six total minutes. And when you compare CloudPoint at $11,399 against all of the other systems at $20,000 to $35,000, you recognize that you can buy three CloudPoint systems for the price that the competition charges for only one. So what's the difference? 
what did we leave out? If you were to disassemble our CloudPoint FastScan, you will find most of the same parts that can be found in all of the scanners. Cameras, mirrors, servo motors, CPU, it's all in there. So why is this so inexpensive compared to the others? I simply wonder why all the others are priced so high. Most scanners are sold through dealers and they need about another 50% markup to cover the dealer's selling expenses. We're not going to add that expense. We may sell fewer, but we did not build this to sell to others. We built it for our own use. It's only after we realized what we had that we decided to share it. Okay, Sean, is the scanning all done? It is. All right, well, could you show us on the screen what you've accomplished? Absolutely. The uh, software has automatically identified both our upper and lower arches and registered the die to the preparation model. Next, we'll go ahead and uh, just provide a little assistance with identifying the uh, upper model. See, that's registered. Found it great. We'll register the lower as well. And then we'll identify our buckle margin. Okay. What that'll do is that'll help drive some automation as we move further into the design process. And that's it, I've completed the scanning process. Fantastic. Enough about that scanner. Let me tell you about the design software. Technicians had their hands all over this software. They would say, no, we need to make changes on the fly without having to start all over again just because we wanted to make an adjustment to a margin. We wanted a library of tooth shapes that reflected real teeth, not just something that looks like a crown. And one overriding demand was it had to be fast, really fast, far fewer keystrokes. We realized that keystrokes were important. Too many keystrokes are just time killers. We measured one of our coping systems a couple years back, and we found it took over 300 keystrokes to design a coping. Mercifully, I'm not going to mention that company's name. We could not have put this system together without owning all parts of the manufacturer and software development. If there is something you don't like about this system, it's my fault. We designed the entire system front to back. So why is the CloudPoint scanner system the one you should use? Let me put some math to it. The competition's best designers would take about 15 minutes to scan and design a case. A CloudPoint designer can do the exact same thing in about seven minutes. Your designers are now twice as fast as all the competition's best. And for labs that haven't yet adopted CAD CAM, you get a plug and play solution that instantly equips your lab with the ability to make monolithic restorations. Now for full disclosure, I have to admit that CloudPoint cannot as yet handle implant cases. And yes, I still use another system for that. But 90% of my work can easily be done on CloudPoint. Oh, did I forget to tell you that with CloudPoint, because the designs are stored in the cloud, you can go home or sit on a remote beach and complete your designs. You are not tied to the computer that is connected to the scanner. That's incredible. You might want to scan cases at the office and then have a telecommuter design them from anywhere. Try that with any other system. Can't be done. Glidewell Laboratories has grown very large because we decided not to depend on vendors to bring us the next best and greatest product, which they would go on to sell to everyone else. We needed to control our cost so that we could pass along our savings to our customers. The CloudPoint system gives us an edge. You now have the opportunity to use the same system we use. Okay, Sean, it looks like you finished the design in, in record time, under three minutes. Can you show us some of the tools you used to accomplish that? Absolutely. One of the things that makes our software great is we chose to go with automation over endless tools. And what that means is that we try to take a lot of that work out the dental technician's hands that they would use, they would invest a lot of time and a lot of clicks into, like you mentioned a minute ago. Mm -hmm. So 
we're able to come in and optimize our occlusion. Most software pushes that occlusion away from the opposing dentition. Where what we do is we'll actually push it away and then anything that is below that minimum thickness for to make that, that Bruxer crown the correct thickness, we're able to actually pull that up as well. So what it really does is it really optimizes the occlusion. We take that same approach and we apply that to our, our contacts. So we know that contacts need to be a very, very uh, exact value. And so what we're able to do is with the click of a button, we're able to dial in those contacts and then also introduce a tolerance where we know that there's manufacturing tolerances. We can run tighter tolerances with our mesial and distal contacts in comparison with our occlusal contact where we might have a little bit more tolerance. So the system takes care of all that for you. So this way you don't have technicians wasting away numerous clicks and investing a lot of design time that really would not add to the value of the crown. Additionally, we looked at other systems on the market and we saw that a lot of technicians were having to go back and forth in a nonlinear workflow. Uh, they spend a lot of that time, particularly on margin design. So we know that margins are critical to the success of a dental restoration. And a lot of the time you have a technician go back numerous steps and try to adjust the margin line. Well, what we did was we made it possible so that the dental technician could come in and edit that margin line in the middle of the design process and then exit right back out of there and all of that design work that they've invested has been preserved. So That's no more going, absolutely. Yeah. So these are just a few of the tools that, that really make it possible for us to, to generate that, that single unit monolithic restoration in, in record time. Fantastic. That is just mind blowing to me. Well, thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Thank you for letting me bring this exciting new system to you.